What is going on travelers? Are you looking for a tactical RPG that you can play within 5 minutes to fit in within your busy day? If you are, then look no further than Veil 4. Veil 4 is a tactical RPG featuring roguelike dungeons, auto chess mechanics, a PvP area, artifact crafting, and kingdom building, all set in a dark fantasy world. My first time in game I was just kind of thrown into it with just this one orc warrior. I had no idea what I needed to do but there were instructions guiding me on what I needed to do. Everything is basically set up like a chessboard in which you get your hero, there are blessings, there are ways to upgrade your hero in order for you to progress on throughout the world. Not to mention you get more heroes. I was pitted up against five wolves, not knowing I was going to come out of it alive, I went ahead and went through it anyway, and to my surprise, I survived. But don't get that cocky just yet, because you can be defeated very easily by being pinned up against the opponent who is at a higher level than you. The way you gain more heroes, you get more levels, you have to get more loot through completing these dungeons, as well as stacking everything by 3, 4, or 5. What I mean is simply combining the same items leads up to an upgrade progression that either leads to a warrior, a set of armor, enchanted armor, or better yet, a better hero itself. You can build a kingdom in game once you get past the first part of the tutorial. You can buy everything from City Hall as everything kind of just grew in front of me where I could just buy the things that I needed. But it did not come at a cheap cost, although it looks to be everything adding up and pretty soon it gets pretty expensive. So what are you supposed to do in this economy? You gain more coin. How do you gain more coin? You go through dungeons. By completing these dungeons you can win or lose, you still get coin to spend. But what tips you off from spending everything is that you use this gold to stack and once it stacks at a specific amount, it can change it to a ring that you can use for armor or you can use this menu to buy your stuff and you end up refreshing the page each time you want something new to match up or to stack so that way you can move on to the next upgrade for your building and you slowly start to lose coin that way. Not to mention going into the rebel camp and trying to gain more heroes by getting supplies there through refreshing, it's the same thing. But make sure you stack up a lot of coin when you do this. The dungeons are, as to be expected, dark fantasy in which you go through the mushroom shadows, the forest peaks, as well as the castle area. Each dungeon gives you enchantments in which you can use to build up and power up your heroes. Be sure to use this strategically in battle as you place every hero on the board getting ready to smack down on your opponent. But the strategy just doesn't lie there. You have to make sure you match up with your opponent and if you don't you have the option to just back out and go get more of what you need. There is a trader within each dungeon that you can haggle with if you have the coin. But do not let the difficulty of the dungeon hold you back. This is time to plan, this is time to strike. Not to mention, all this is done automatically. Now what do I mean by automatically? I mean once you set up the fight, you press start and everything goes as it should. You'll see the rounds go by and you'll see who's victorious at the end. Let's talk about PvP. PvP is a whole nother beast in which you'll have to put your strategy against another player. As obvious as that sounds, it wasn't as easy as it looks. Me thinking I had the numbers in order for me to decimate if not obliterate my opponent, they whooped me so fast I didn't know what happened. It didn't feel clunky, it didn't feel anything out of the sort other than what I was feeling in PvE in which the person who has the better skill, the better gear, will win. Although it does feel rushed at times. Which in my opinion is a good thing in PvP or PvE as you may not have the 2 to 5 to 8 hours in order for you to play, you just want to sneak in something for maybe 15 minutes and then go to bed or maybe go on about your day. The graphics were pretty good. It was giving me Super Nintendo kind of vibes where I was playing those dark fantasy games back in the day which almost made me feel like I was there either playing Legend of Zelda trying to solve a puzzle or maybe playing some other dark fantasy game that kind of had me pumped up to play. I could do several matches within a few minutes and then feel like I've accomplished a lot with all the loot automatically collecting it on itself with me only having to upgrade felt at ease. I felt relaxed. I didn't have to do much 
of anything, really. Now, to some of you out there who want a more in-depth tabletop tactical RPG game, uh, this isn't it. But for those of you who want to sit down and then maybe kick back because you have something else to do within 15 minutes or maybe in 20 minutes, maybe you have to put your kid down, or maybe you just need to get ready for work, this is the game for you. Veil 4 will be on Steam January 17th, 2025. Go beyond, traveler. traveler.